Hi everyone, this is Jamie from Jamie's Hook. It's probably been a quite a while since I have last done a video. And um, last one I did, it's when I had received the um, order I had made from Lion Brand, the shawl and a ball. And um, since then, I have like doubled I would say doubled you. Yeah, yeah, I would say doubled my subscribers. And I was like, wow, that's great. And really what happened is um, I actually got a couple of shout outs. And I wasn't expecting these, and it was great. And I, I was like, I so appreciate that. That was wonderful. It was so kind. Um, so, uh, and that really kind of bumped me up, and that, I was like, "Wow, that's 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 amazing!" And thank you, thank you so much. And I really want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and all of uh, the subscribers that have been with me since April. Um, I started filming last April, uh, about towards the end of April, so, you know, about like the last week of April or so. Um, but I would never think that I would get, you know, to like, I think I'm at 145, 447 subscribers, I think. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, um, I did not think that I would, um, you know, within a week or so, it's more like a week and a half, but I would double, double the amount of subscribers that I have, and I'm just like floored by it. Um, you know, it's it's just really, really awesome. So thank you, thank you all for that. I truly, truly appreciate that. It, I'm just really, really pleased. Um, so, um, Lately, I have been trying to do this video for like the last three or four days. Um, I have, it's, the weather has been so hot. Um, and if any of y'all, you know, who don't know, I live in the Dallas area. It's hot here. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn hot. And um, hopefully by the end of the week, my next Sunday, we should be about like 10 degrees cooler. And I really hope to God that we are. Today was like 101, and it was pretty stinking hot. I was only outside for like maybe, I mean, really kind of out in the heat for about mm, 20 minutes. And just in that 20 minutes, I just I got totally zapped. Uh, I'm like, I was when I came home, I was just covered in sweat, and you know, I couldn't peeled my shoes and socks off fast enough and and uh, it was just I had to take a shower I would just it was just ew, you know it was just like it was just felt awful and um, and I, I still feel a little bit you know like my skin feels tender like it really got a lot of the sun like I yesterday we went out uh, my daughter and I we went out to go do some shopping for her to um, Get her stuff ready for her dorm. Uh, she's going to college this next Saturday. It's, I know it's crazy. Like my baby is going to college. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So yeah, you know, it just kind of kind of makes me want to cry a little bit. But anyway, you gotta suck it up, suck it up, suck it up. Mm -mm. Now I'm trying to get to this video. I can't get all sensitive about this. Okay. Anyway, it's a very tender subject for me because I am trying not to lose control about this. Anyway, so we went to a lot of the discount places in, in our neighborhood. We have like a ton. Um, um, so, you know, we went to like Dollar General, we went to Dollar Tree, went to a couple of other places and, you know, just looked for little odds and ends. You know, you don't realize how much you need when you go to college. I, I never went to college. 
and I, I, I went to culinary school, which was kind of in town. So I really didn't go to college per se. And um, so that was never an event for me. And I never experienced that. So doing this with my own child is, it's a little bit different. And, you know, and I just, you know, going through the list, I said, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, you're going to need this, you're going to need that. You know, little things like, you know, you're going to need a broom and a dustpan and you don't even have forks or spoons or anything like that. You know, she's, she's going to eat like the food, the campus food, you know, uh, like in the cafeteria and stuff. But she's going to have her own microwave, she's going to have her mini fridge, you know. I mean, you're going to need at least something, like a fork and a a bowl or something, you know, a tumbler to drink out of, you know, just little things. I mean, it's not like she's going to be, you know, uh, be cooking beef wellington or something, but, you know, um, but at least a baked potato, you know, she can go to the store and buy a baked potato, you know, buy a potato and put a baked potato in the microwave and voila, you've got a, you know, a filling little meal. Um, but anyway, um, so we were just kind of, you know, doing all that and you know I guess maybe with the excitement of being out with her and doing all this I didn't feel it as bad but today the sun was like mega strong yesterday I didn't feel as hot for some reason but today was a totally different story so even after I took a shower like my skin feels tender today and you know, I'm a freckly girl I mean I've got the t-shirt, freckle tan, you know, it's like, you know, here, I'm like pasty white, and then like from here now, it's just like freckles all the way down, you know, and yeah, just freckly, freckly, and so I got to be careful with that. I couldn't find my sunblock. I need to wear sunblock more often, um, but hopefully with the end of September, I mean, with the end of August and going into September, the weather's going to start calming down. We won't be as hot, you know. The way I look at it, if it's below 95, it's great. You know, 95 is hot, but not like unbearably hot. Like over 95, it's like too stinking hot. Anyway, um, so um, I actually am going to open up my first Happy Mail. I got my first Happy Meal from Wanderlust Create, uh, Wanderlust Create, I can't say it, Wanderlust Creations, and um, her name is uh, Dana, and uh, she's a real neat lady. Um, she's actually uh, started doing uh, crochet uh, tutorials, um, teaching people how to crochet, and. I've even learned a few things from her. Uh, she's also teaching you how to not only just crochet, um, but you know, the general basics, and also learning how to write and read patterns at the same time, and 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 diagrams. I am not a diagram person. I do not know know how to read diagrams very well. Um, I've tried and I've looked at them. And I can kind of follow them, and I've even kind of written some of my own, just kind of as a, you know, help me to keep track of what I have done, especially if I'm, you know, doing a little self-creativeness thing going on. But anyway, I received this package on Friday, and um, I did not open it up. I have not opened it up, and I've been anxious to open it up. Um, but I was, you know, been, I was sick overnight on Thursday into Friday. I didn't fill up the snuff to do a video. Um, Saturday, uh, I got zapped by the sun again. Yesterday, just not an ideal day, uh, which was Sunday. Just was not an ideal day because there was just a whole lot going on. My kidney used the computer. There was a lot of noise going around. It just wasn't a good day to film. You know, and some days are just like that. So today, yeah. So, and I am going to open this up. And she ordered it from 
Lovecraft. I've never ordered from Lovecraft before. This is going to be pretty neat. So I'm really curious about what's inside this bag. Um, let me see if I can like, rip this open. If not, I have my little craft scissors. I have these little ones like this. And I was looking at these, and I said, you know, these look just like, you know, the same little scissors that men use to, like, snip their mustaches and beards. They probably are. I don't know where I got them from. I just have them. I don't know. Anyway, let me open this up. And I told Dana that I was going to open this up on camera if it was alright with her. And she's like, yeah, that's cool. So she's a really neat lady. Oh, yeah, and then... Dana also lives in and drives around a semi truck with her dog Dooley. And he's a cute little, you know, I think he's like a blue tick. Um, something. I know, he's really pretty. Alright, so let's see what I got. Okay, wait. Alright, okay. So, ooh, I got 20% off discount. The Lovecrafts. Alright. I got a, a coupon. Yeah. I gotta like this. It expires as end of September. So I actually might have to use that. Okay, so this is something. What is this? Is there something in here? Oh, there is something in there. I don't know what it is. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, let's see. I'm excited. I'm really curious. Really am. I'm, I'm curious as to what she said. I didn't want to look at the invoice just yet. But I like surprises. I'm hard to surprise too. Okay, so what do we get? What do we get? <gasps> Ooh. I got a sparkly button. Look at that. Let's see. There we go. That's really sparkly. Ooh, I love it. All right. I need some darning needles. Oh, it's a tapestry needle. Very cool. I need something like this. And see how they're kind of like tapered at the end there? That's pretty dang neat. Because the ones that I have aren't awesome. And you know, these actually look like they're big enough to use for bulky yarn. And then I have a really cool looking shawl pin. So I've really been into shawls and I've got a shawl whip to show you. Okay, so let's see what else I got. Okay, a little organza bag here full of yarn. Let's see what, oh, it's paint box yarn. I've never had this before. I've never touched it. Oh. It's cotton. I love cotton. That's too cool. Thank you, Dana. I love it. Wow. Like all these different colors in this little bag. Check it out. Too cool. Okay. So I'm definitely going to be making something for the kid with this. Yeah, little things for her. You know, like coasters and maybe washcloths and stuff like that for her. So, yeah. This is going to be great. I don't know. Maybe I'll make something else. But really neat. I like that. That's cool. Thank you, Dana. That's so nice. All right. So, I'm also going to show you my, my whips and my FOs. And... I've got quite a few. I've, I've been working on a lot, lot of, you know, little things. Um, nothing too big. You know, I really don't do blankets and afghans. I do, like, small blankets, like baby blankets. But not really, like, blankets and afghans. So, um, I'm going to show you some of that. And I'm just drinking regular, you know, black tea. I need something to wake me up because I'm kind of sleepy. Even after I took a shower, I was just like, Ugh. I gotta wake up a little bit to do, to do this video. Alright, so, okay. 
So I actually working on this today and a little bit earlier. Um, this is actually some of that shawl on the ball. And I got very inspired, um, especially with this color. Uh, for some reason, um, I don't know why, but I just felt really compelled to use this color. Um, it's, uh, let me show you which one it is. This one's called the Glorious Greens, and it's really sparkly. I mean, it's got some really dark, lovely greens, but there's some blues, there's some teal, uh, not teals, but uh, blues, some uh, like sage greens, some dark, like evergreens. Uh, and then also with the ball, there's a slight hint of purple and uh, some beiges and some browns. So it's really, really pretty. But I decided to make another um, fiber shawl with it. So let me show you what I've made so far. I think it's lovely. I think it's super duper nice. So far, this is what I have going on. As you can see, let me see if I can get just right. I don't know, I'm getting a little close. Ah. Okay, other way, camera. There we go. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Did you see like those, those, you know, that golden beige and browns going in that, and then it it just, it just kind of glitters in the light. You know, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it really glitters in the light. It's like super sparkly. Like this is be something like kind of fancy to wear. You know, it's really, really pretty. And I really am impressed with this. I think what I like about it is because it's it does have like that little element of gold to it. And it's really it just really shows up really, really nice. So, um now this is my first time working with Shaw the Ball. It is a little bit uh, different. It's a little bit interesting. Um, it says it's a four weight yarn. No, I would say it's light, a light three in my opinion. And I'm really not one for working with something so light. So it's a little bit different. It's like not impossible. Of course, you know, you, you see that I've made something with it, but um, it's just different. It's, you know, just something different. I mean, I never tried working with something as thin as that. As, as, <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. As thin as that. But I'm using a J hook, and it seems to be working out quite well. Um, but then. Um, the same person, I want to say her first name is, is, it's either Jana or Yana Martinez. And she's the one, the video that I watched uh, to make the uh, virus shawl. But recently, like in the last week, she has come out with another video of somebody else's pattern. Um, but it's called the Lost, ugh, I can't talk today, guys. The Lost Souls shawl. And I so want to make this. And I want to make it with the Feng Shui Gray's shawl in the ball color. I really, I think it's going to be awesome. And I've always wanted to wear stuff, you know, for the month of October. I still want to make this. Now, she's already, it, she says it's like a three part uh, video tutorial. And She's made the first tutorial, and I was watching it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can totally do this. Not a problem. She does very good uh, tutorial videos, and um, I think she's been around for a few years. Uh, but I really, really, really want to make this shawl, and uh, the next one's not coming out, maybe not for a few more days. And then after that, not until maybe a few more days after that, maybe another week. But I really want to make it for the month of October for myself. And I want to wear it around when I'm going around town. 
I actually have a uh, Infinity Scarf that's got a bunch of skulls on it. You know, they're like lacy skulls and stuff, and I love them. And so I love to wear that thing run right around October. But I love this shawl. It's so pretty. And she's actually, in her uh, video, she's using the um, the Red Hat, the, I can't talk, guys, I'm sorry, Red Heart Ombre in Grays. Uh, phone's ringing. And um, I'll call him back. Um, it looks really, really pretty. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I've got something just like that, you know, in my stash. So, anywho, I decided to show you that. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. So, a while back in the summer, I had. Uh, made uh, your inspirations order and the last time they had their mystery bags were on sale for $2.99 excuse me and they also had some other skeins of yarns and I ordered all the ones that were like $2 or less well one of them was the burn Nat roving yarn so this has got like 20% wool in it. It's got some wool in it. But anyway, um, I kept racking my brain. What am I going to make with this? And I decided I was going to do hoop cuffs. And I'm going to put a, a button on these. I'm trying to get a good... They're just a simple single crochet ridged back loop boot cuff. And these will actually fit me. Um, but I was trying to make some smaller ones, like a size smaller, like, I would say these are like a large, because, you know, I'm a girthy girl, and these fit around my girthy girl knees, and so I was trying, trying to make some smaller ones, and, um, I made them the same size. <laughs> I forgot to write down it, because I actually, I'm actually using um, a new app. I really, really like it. I'm trying to play with it, trying to figure it out. I found this new app. It's on the Google Play Store. It's called Crochet Land. And it kind of does a little bit of everything. Like it helps you, it's got a row counter on it. It helps you price things, helps you keep track of time. Like, you know, how much time is it going to take you to make this and how much you should charge for your time. And etc. You know, it's got like all kinds of little bells and whistles on this app. And I meant to, I think I accidentally erased it. I'm still working with this app. I'm trying to figure it out all the way. Um, but I was trying to make, you know, a, a medium size and I forgot like how much, how many rows that I needed to make for this. So I actually made another set of large didn't mean to. I meant to make a set of mediums. And then I was going to make a set of smalls. Um, but this um, yarn, you got to be careful with it. It does not like to frog. And it's the way that it, the way that it is, it's a roving. If you pull on it too, eat, you know, too much, it will, it will rip. So you just have to be real careful with it. It doesn't feel bad. I'm just not the biggest wool fan. It doesn't feel bad though. I mean, you know, I don't know what I, it's just, I'm just not the biggest wool fan, but I figured it'd be great for boot cuffs, and I might make some later on. I, this took me a while. Um, I think it took me too long for as simple as it is. It's just too long. I like the fact that it's ribbed like this, but it, since it was single crochet, it still took me a while. I, I'm, I, I'm just not too keen on it. I want something quick. So I think maybe maybe you should try again with maybe like a half double or a double crochet stitch and see how that does. Maybe with another type of yarn because I'm about to use all of this up that I had ordered. Anyway, so that's what one of the things I've been working on. Um, 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 um. Oh, okay. So I actually do have an FO and a whip of the same thing. 
I was trying to make two of these. Um, this was uh, the finished product of the cowl I was making um, at my sister's house. I started it there and it was made with the um, Loops and Threads Charisma in, in the grays. And I think this is a much better shot of it. So, and I took my dad's um, advisement by putting it, uh, an edging on it. And I put a gray edging on it. At first I didn't put an edge on it, but then I put a gray edge on it. And I think it makes it look a lot nicer. And then I put some, some black buttons on it. So, this is kind of how it looks. I don't know, I'm sure how I like how it lays. So, I don't know, it might be like a, like, I don't know, I've got a short neck, so it's hard to say. I think I have a short neck. Some people may not think it's, you know. I don't know. It might be, it's just a neck warmer, really. I don't know. What do you think? I like how it looks, but I'm not sure I like how it lays. You know, and you know, it's something different. It's something to try. I'm at. All right. Okay. So, and I really like how this looks. Like I love, you know, this. This, you know, how this is kind of curved like that. I think it just looks really neat. And then this one, I just kind of put it down and I didn't quite finish it. Oop, 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 oop. Don't lose my needle. Okay, so this one, I've done something different with this one, but I can't remember what I've done different. But, um, oh yeah, I think I made it longer. And I added some extra length to it. There we go. I'm trying to work with this camera here today. So I added some extra length with it to the with the gray that I used to edge it with. And so it helped give it a little bit more length. So maybe it won't be I don't know, maybe it'll lay better. I have no idea what I've done. I can't remember what I did. But I haven't put the buttons on it yet. It's like maybe it will lay better. I'm not sure. But anyway, I extended this out. And I'm trying to make everything to be like a one skein project if I can't help it. So anyway, so that's kind of like a FO and a whip. Same thing. Okay, so here's some more of that impeccable. Now this one is the the sunny day uh, colorway, and I made another cowl. I don't know. The, this one is from this pattern's from Fiberflux, and I was kind of looking for like a, a quick V stitch pattern. And I don't know if you are, you know, I'm sure many of you have seen this before. Um, but this is the um, I can't remember the name of the the pattern but it's got two buttons on it and now what I like about this cowl because you can actually wear it a couple of different ways like you can wear it let's see how do I do this I can wear it like this and I just kinda stick the button through here, you know, you can kind of turn it down. I don't think I'm doing it right. No, oh, the button came undone. I don't know if I like this or not, but but you can kind of do it like that. I'm not doing a very good job showing this off, am I? Okay. All right, let me try. Oh, no wonder it's twisted. How do I do this? 
I did this a certain way. Okay. I think I did it like this. I was showing it off to somebody earlier. Okay. So you can do it like this, almost like a the real popular two button cowl. Okay. You can kind of curve it down if you wanted to. You know, like that. Okay, or then I did it like this and I turned it around this way. Which way did I do it? Oh yeah, there we go. Turned it around like this way. Okay. And then I kind of, it kinda of looks like a what they call it a, a dicky. Or like a, you know. So you can kind of do it like this way. You know, it kind of looks like a faux shirt. Okay. And actually, I think this would really work out, especially if you got like a, you know, like an overcoat and you're putting your overcoat on. This would be like really good for like that. So you kind of bring this up. I think, you know, that way. Or I was also thinking like you can do it like this. And then if you wanted to give yourself a little bit of, you know, textural flair, I mean, I just undid my button. You can kind of do it like that, you know, just kind of looks, you know, just different, you know. It kind of looks kind of cute like that, you know, I kind of like the little one button thing going on right there. It's kind of cute. What do you think? I like it. I kind of like it like this. It looks kind of neat. Anyway, I got some here. So I did that and I made my first uh, ponytail hat. See, it's got a hole in the top. And I made a, a button um, centered flower to go with it. So let's see. For my ponytail. My ponytail is kind of low. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Ponytail hat. And I also made just like a V stitch. And I just kind of came up with this. Um, I just kind of made it up. And then I made a slouchy beanie. It also has the uh, flower button on it. And I also made this made kind of myself, you know. This is kind of big. So maybe you got somebody who wants to buy it who's got big hair. But, you know, it's kind of cute, I think. Maybe you can put the, yeah. There you go. See? I think it's kind of cute. Maybe maybe make, maybe not make it as slouchy, but if you've got like a lot of hair, maybe you kind of want that room for all your hair. Maybe you got some big bushy hair and it'll work out for you. I don't know. I thought it was kind of a cute little set. Like you can, you know, buy all three. Yeah, why not? Anyway, okay. So those are kind of like my FOs and whips for now. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I can really tell you. Um, hmm. Oh, I know. Since I have 140 some odd subscribers, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do my first giveaway. Yes, my first giveaway. Yay! Okay. So, what am I going to give away? So, actually, a lot of the stuff I had already purchased um, to give to somebody else. I got this hair on my face. Um, and, and the first thing I'm going to show you, um, I was going to give it to my first subscriber. 
and I kept messaging her and messaging her and said, oh, look, I got this just for you. You're my first subscriber. I wanted to say thank you, and I think it kind of weirded her out. So I had to keep it. But um, I'm pretty sure quite a few of you subscribe and watch um, Summer from Summer's uh, Tips and Stitches. And one day I was watching her uh, one of her videos, and she showed off. Here it is. It's kind of got stuck, tucked behind my monitor here. Hold on. Okay, so she was showcasing off this little project bag from Tea Doddles, and it is an Alice in Wonderland. Uh, project bag or notions bag and it actually does have Alice on the bottom um, you know it's got the it's got the where am I pointing at I guess that's like the dormouse right there and then there's the the lock and it, on this side it says we're all mad here it's really cute and I was originally had purchased this for my first um, subscriber because she had a name that was kind of referenced to Alice in Wonderland, and I was like, "Oh, what? That'll be pretty, you know, be a pretty neat gift." So she never responded back to me. So oh well. Anyway, and then on the inside, it also came with this little. Um, progress keeper. It's a little bunny rabbit. It's cute. So, oh, and the inside is this really cute orange and white polka dot. And T Doddles has their um, logo on the inside. It's very nice, very nice, well made bag. Um, but I wanted to, to give this to somebody and she didn't want it, so okay. I'm gonna give away into the giveaway. Yay! Okay, so um another thing um I was trying to do I was trying to do my first happy mail or first yarn swap with somebody else. And um they never responded back to me. We we, we chatted the first night didn't hear back from her ever since not really like like one day last week she sent me this weirdo off the wall message it was like an article like signing a petition about you know free cafeteria lunches and stuff like that I guess she, you know I was like well is there an article for this and she's like I don't know and I'm like okay and then after that that was you know that was it and I was like okay all right so anyway but anyway, I purchased this yarn as a uh, yarn swap with her, and you know she's just being a cold fish about it. So I'm just gonna give it away in my first giveaway. But I absolutely love this, uh, and I probably I really want to go back and get some more for myself. But this is the um, the yarn bee. Uh, here we go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this way do I go? This way. Okay. The Yarn Bean Katarina, and this one is uh, the uh, Saturday Siesta colorway. It is really pretty. Let me turn around to the other end. It's like all those beautiful colors. I really do like that. That's really pretty. And all, all the different skates. I have four skates of this, and all four are just these really pretty bright colors. Um, yeah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that make something kind of just really fun and festive? And it's really soft. I think it is, um, it's 295 yards. So that is roughly almost 300 yards in each skein. Um, so that's three times four. Like almost like a thousand yards, and then um, this is what are you made out of? It's ninety percent acrylic and ten percent nylon. 
So it's pretty, pretty darn soft. Anyway, oh yeah, and then one more thing. Um, I thought this little thing was cute. Cute little llama um, ruler. And I asked myself, okay, so is this a llama or an alpaca? I'm determining this is a llama. And I actually Googled it. I said, what's the difference between a llama and an alpaca? And I learned. So from the way that this guy looks, I, I have determined he is a llama. And if you don't know the differences, llamas are bigger. They're like twice the size of alpacas. They got more attitude. Um, they uh, like spit. <laughs> and um, llamas are mainly built to be as a pack animal and used for meat, whereas alpacas are mainly used for their fiber in meat, and they're more of a herd animal. Uh, llamas have a longer face and more like of a banana-shaped ear, whereas alpacas have a smooshed-in face and have more of a pointy ear, a smaller pointy ear. So now you know the difference between a llama and an alpaca, and I just I didn't know this, you know. Um, I, I couldn't tell the difference if, if I looked at one in the zoo, I'd be like, oh, it's a llama. It's really an alpaca. I wouldn't know. I do now. Okay. So, I thought it was pretty cute. I really liked him. So, this is, um, so it was, I don't know how much this all cost me. Let's see. Um, okay, so for this giveaway, I purchased all this stuff. Uh, myself. So this was about, let's see, that's 10, uh, let's see, it's 4, 4 times 4, 16, about 26 bucks worth of product, you know, give or take. And um, so this is, you know, about $26 worth of uh, product. I'm going to run this giveaway for. I'm going to say until the 1st of September and um, I'm going to go ahead and make it international. Um, I don't know if your country can receive these products um, so if you um, want to be a part of this giveaway please try to make sure that you can receive these products in your country and if you can I'm sorry. I'll have to pick somebody else. Um, but uh, all you gotta do is hit uh, like, you know, watch, you know, of course, and then um, like my video. Uh, please subscribe and please make sure that all your settings when you subscribe are public and not private because I have a feeling that's what I did and that's probably the reason why I didn't win couple of times because I was realized oh wait all my settings were private instead of public so um, anywho uh, just make sure you do that um, so um, just type a comment I don't care what you write just write something nice and kind so anyway so first giveaway yay I oh, know he's so cute. I like him. Anyway, um, so <sighs> I guess that's it. All right. Well, I guess I will see y'all around. Ta ta for now, and um, I'll see you around YouTube land. Bye.